Welcome. Army Recognition is here in Tampa, Florida, to cover the SOFIC 2017, the Special Operations Forces Industry Conference. This year, more than 400 companies will showcase the latest innovations and products dedicated to special operations. What we have here at uh, Sofic Show this week is uh, four of our legacy products that we've uh, been selling for a number of years now. Uh, we go from about five pound robot, that's I'll, I'll point out here soon, to about a 500 pound system and a couple in between. Uh, EOD has traditionally been our, our customer base as well as combat engineers, but uh, uh, a lot of infantry interest and special forces interest as of late as well. So uh, if we move over here, we have the five pound robot. This is the 110 first look, which is a throwable robot. Um, four cameras for 360 situational awareness, 15 foot or three meters drop on concrete, uh, repeated drops, uh, it's uh, survival with that. All robots are IP67, which is submersible to one meter. Uh, this one has multiple payloads. Uh, right now it's set up with a payload to where it can inspect under cars, uh, look over objects, or look back and uh, see what's going on in the back for uh, for dropping off payloads if it does a little dump truck action to drop off maybe an explosive charge or some type of sensor when it's in the field. The very large system here uh, is in a weaponized configuration. This is the 710 Cobra. Uh, we have a couple attachments. So the 710 from this plate down is the robot. Uh, everything from the plate up is a different configuration, a different payload that can go on. Currently we have the, the 240, M240 on here. We can also put a uh, smoke generation, smoke obscuration module, uh, a, uh, a APOBS, uh, an arm, a heavy lift arm to lift 300 pounds, and uh, several other configurations as well. the best selling features um, that we have about the 320 is the fact that it is very modular. The, uh, the the receiver, the trigger mechanism comes out and that's what has the serial number on it. So it can be put in, uh, you can buy a full size and then get the conversion kit for a compact or a carrier, a subcompact, or change calibers. And you still have this, the one serialized part. The trigger on it is probably the best trigger that I've felt on a polymer pistol that's good, that you're going to get out of the box. If you go to one of these aftermarket companies and ha you know get a special trigger, then it's going to be a great trigger. But for a, a polymer striker-fired gun out of the box, you're not going to find a better trigger. On the, on the special operations side, one of the things that you can do is if you are in 320s and you, ha you do um, a whole lot of different, different roles, you know, you, you can deploy with your 320 kit, and when you're going and doing um, uh, kinetic operations, and you're just in your in full full kit, you can run your full size 320. If you end up doing stuff where you need to be low vis, you can convert it to whatever, and you don't have to carry more guns to keep track of more serial numbers, more sensitive items. It's the same thing. Today I'll talk to you a little bit about the Fortis KSRD system, which is a powered system developed for the military and first responders. So the, uh, the Fortis KSRD is a powered knee exoskeleton. So the intent is to reduce the metabolic cost of transport. Uh, what that really means is it makes it easier for you to walk. Less muscle actuation, less fatigue, uh, less potential for injury, uh, longer duration on, on mission. So what we do is we incorporate this technology with a, a back device to transport the load of a heavy ruck, additional equipment. Uh, and what that does is that supports the soldier for long duration deployment or difficult environments. Uh, think, for instance, of 
urban mega cities. You're going up and down staircases, clearing high-rise buildings. Uh, this makes it much easier for those soldiers to move up and down those, uh, those staircases. Uh, in subterranean, through water lines, things like that. The system is really all about reducing the fatigue of the soldier. We're taking this technology when we're integrating it with other technologies. When you think about what Lockheed Martin does best, we're an integrator. We take disparate, different technology areas, we assemble it together in a way that it makes it greater than the sum of its parts. So for the KSRD, that's our lower body exoskeleton. We integrate it with the upper body, back, arms, things like that, to, to provide a, a lift capability, the ability to transport and move heavier articles the ability to integrate new and different capabilities, more radios, uh, to, to give the soldier greater capacity to transport all those things that make him more survivable, more lethal, more capable, more enduring. Hi, this is uh, David Wilberding of Stid Systems in uh, New York. We manufacture uh, free-flooding wet submersibles. This is our diver propulsion device, or DPD. We manufacture for naval special operations units. Uh, the DPD, again, has been in uh, production for 10 years. Uh, it's all over the world in operation from Ireland to Indonesia, many, many different places. Uh, it's essentially a, a two-man uh, infiltration, exfiltration device. We've also manufactured a reconnaissance and navigation system or an RNAV unit that enables precision navigation, an autopilot as well, uh, which reduces the diver workload. And now we've just come out with an autonomous capability so the DPD can be used either in a manned role or a fully autonomous role. Again, for all applications of maritime special operations units, infill, exfill, uh, resupply, and uh, many other applications. Hi, and welcome to International Armored Boost at SOFIC 2017. This year we're displaying the Sentinel TRV in a CENB7 NIJ4 Plus armoring configuration. This vehicle is based off of the Ford F550 chassis and gets built from the ground up at our various facilities. This one, as you see it, has an adaptive suspension system, military grade door locks that uh, prevent overpressure situations in a blast, and is configured with the winch and off-roading package. In the current configuration, the Sentinel TRV sits 10 passengers. As you will see, we have four point harnesses, a 360 degree camera system, where there's cameras above each entry and exit points. This vehicle is a five door design, allowing for ease of entry and exit. This vehicle is also configured with an emergency escape hatch and a weapon system that is roof mounted. The Sentinel TRV is also available in both a high and low sulfur version for the international markets. The Sentinel TRV is based off the F550 chassis. It comes with a 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine and is easily serviced both domestically and abroad. This is the Barrett 2090 man pack transceiver. 20 hours of battery life on one charge is able to maintain and be recharged while in operation. Lithium ion battery, it has a fully removable display unit and handset remote control. The 2090 man pack radio can be fitted with customized modems and waveforms, as well as full military 110B modems, 4538 modems, as well as 141B linking out protocol. We can have a balanced input on the front panel or a whip antenna and full accessory support through the front panel. 